All right, so ladies and gentlemen, after 10 months, almost 10 months of working on this boat, dealing with uh, back orders and scheduling and everything else, the fabrication of this boat is done. <laughs> After 102 pounds of weld wire, um, endless hours, you know, of, of thinking and tweaking things, uh, the boat is finally on the water. I'm super excited about this. Um, you know, I've got the boat basically right now in the finished fabrication state. Now, obviously, uh, if you guys have been following along, you know that the outside is going to be painted and the inside is going to get linexed. Um, that's not done yet for the simple fact that I have not had that much time to be able to fish out of this boat uh, and I'm not going to line X the boat until I fish out of it for a time as to where I'm uh, satisfied with where everything is you know because once I line X the boat um, it's pretty much you know it's done I can't weld or grind or anything else on that so that's the state that the boat is in but it's on the water it's fully functional it's rigged up about as much as I'm going to do to it uh, I'm super excited about this here this has been almost a year in the making and uh, for those of you that follow along the whole process you know uh, you know it's been a lot of work so what I want to do now is I want to walk you through the boat um, now where we left off in the last video basically I did not video much of the rigging of the boat this is very time-consuming very tedious I found it just very hard to video uh, so what I decided to do was do what I'm gonna do now I, I rigged the boat I got all the wiring everything in place as I want it and I'm just gonna do a, a quick short walkthrough for you guys um, it's gonna be a quick just kind of show you what I've got if any of you guys have any questions at all about what I've got products things of that nature please leave a comment ask a question and we'll definitely do some follow-up videos but uh, you know I just thought this was the best way to kind of sum up this boat build uh, until the thing gets painted and is completely done but to kind of sum up the boat build for the meantime let you know what I've got and uh, you know how I rigged this boat up so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start at the back and then just work our way forward um, so what I've done here is, now you'll see a lot of stuff on the rails. I absolutely love the accessory rails that I put on here. Um, I've got everything hanging off of them. Now, obviously, as you guys look through this boat, you'll see that n most of this stuff won't be uh, permit. But what I've got is, I've got everything laid out to where it could be used in a fishing situation. So just keep that in mind as you walk through. So we're gonna start right back here at the end of the boat. These two sticks that you stick up, I may do a short clip. Those are basically drift paddles. That piece of two inch, it slides up and down. There's a 10 by 10 inch piece of plate down at the bottom. I can lower one individually or together. Uh, this is gonna slow me down at a trolling speed because right now this boat runs at about 2.8 mile an hour in idle and that's too fast to troll since I don't have a kicker motor. So we've got that as well as they're used to slow me down in a, uh, a spider rigging aspect. So anyway, right now I've got the motor running. Um, you probably can't hear it very uh, much, if any, at all. Uh, this it's a it's a Mercury 200 Pro. Uh, you got the V6 or the inline six rather supercharged. This motor will flat get it. But the cool thing, and I wanted to show you, is this motor I rigged this with power steering. So it's a tiller. And you can see just with the very, very little movement, this motor moves. That's an that's a electric over hydraulic steering. Now, if you were to go and pull back here, that motor is locked. So it's super safe going down the lake. Uh, everything's fly by wire. Just a very, very nice motor. I've uh, been very, very impressed with it. I've got about 27 hours of, on the motor so far as far as break in and uh, everything else but very happy with that so as i rig the boat you can see i've got in the back end here this is more set up for my catfishing fishing out of the back of the boat we've got six Fulby rod holders out the back all in the track system so i can move them anywhere we've got our live well there 22 gallons with uh, rounded corners moving up here we've got our finished console area we've got our wash down pump smart craft gauge, uh, main gauges for the boat, radio fuel gauge. We've got a Helix 12 with side scan uh, in the back here. So moving forward for our, our long lining for trolling, for crappie, 
We've got uh, Millennium T-Bars set up here. These can be taken in and out and raised and adjusted. You'll notice in this boat, I've got seven different locations that I can mount seats. We've got two here, one here, the driver's seat, and then three up front. So for a, a catfishing aspect, you can put two seats right here, fish completely out of the boat, have access to that, that finder there. That's on a Cisco mount, so it can spin and rotate uh, basically indefinitely. So it's a very cool setup there. We've got the, uh, the hydraulic jack plate button right there. Right in here is what the finished rod locker is. Now I can get a 16 foot rod in this rod locker if I want to. Right now there's about four 12 foot rods in this rod locker. Um, and I have no issue with the way I ended up doing it with the, the tubes and everything else. Uh, in this boat currently with the with the six spider rig and poles set up here I've got 21 rods in this uh, in this boat so those rods there are kept nice and neat and out of the way you can pull them in and out very easily very happy with that we've got some vertical rod tubes here for if you're just uh, you know fishing with multiple rods and you want to keep those up like I said the track system is awesome guys the seats we've got in this boat I'll start back here but what I ended up going with is four of the Millennium Pro M seats. These are by far the most comfortable seat I've ever sat in. Each one of these seats are rigged up on the two and three eighths keyed pedestal. I do not like the three quarter pin. I wanted something beefier. They're also rigged up. Each seat has a hydraulic cylinder on it. It'll raise and lower that seat. I think somewhere around seven inches. So where uh, you know you can get be very, very comfortable. So we'll just kind of work our way up here. We've got our more of a storage area up through here. Uh, I have every bit of tackle that I need to fish right now in this boat, with the exception of my musky equipment, um, which only gets used whenever we go up to Canada for a week a year. So I've got more than enough room. I've still got storage in this boat that I still haven't used up. So what I did here is I actually built this cutting board and I put it on a ram mount. Um, so where I can use it to cut bait for whenever I catfish, this thing can be tilted, washed off. You've got the wash down pump right there. You can put it anywhere on this boat that you want uh, because of the track system. We've got our cup holders here. Uh, all throughout the boat I've got um, six of these stainless steel cleats. So where any boat ramp, any dock, I can tie up exactly directly in line. Uh, you know, it's always been an issue in the past. We'll just kind of scan around over here what i've got here is i've got a small grill set up on a two inch ram mount set up on the track system it's very convenient here it sets up out of the way got the grill you cook your burgers do whatever don't have to worry about the heat that thing drains it, it just works out very very nice as we transition here and towards the front of the boat this is the step here this houses the three batteries for the front as well as the uh, the fuel tank. So I've got two speakers down in here as well as two up front for the stereo system. What I was able to do is I was able to mount my canopy in here and I put a four foot track so where I can slide this. This is an eight foot canopy. And I cut it down to fit directly into the floor of this boat so this canopy will stay with this boat at all times in the past i've always had issue that i it was always either in the way if you didn't have it in the upright position uh you know it just was kind of a pain but now being out of the way like this it's perfect it can stay with this boat all the time as well as i can slide it up and down four feet each way to you know if, if you're sitting right here and uh you know you're casting You'll be able to keep it back of you if you're just drift fishing um, you know you'll be able to put it right over top of you so very very convenient as far as the rod holders on this side um, i have in the past i've tried the rod holders that set up high uh, as far as your spider rigging poles what i've got here is i've got six 16 foot rods that i spider rig with now i do not like the rod holders that stick up for one they take away the gunnel room all down one side of your boat. Number two, they're a pain to get in and out of. They're, they set up high, you trip over them, everything else. So I went with these molar rod mounts here, rod holders, and they sit flush with the deck. And as you can see, right now I've got two extra rods in there. So there's eight rods set up in here. And they're out of the way, they're convenient. I can keep these rods in this boat all the time, not have to worry about them. So it's very, very convenient. As we transition up to the front of the boat here, we got our fuel 
uh, fill right there. We've got our power port to charge the batteries right there. Right here, I'll kind of open this up. This is the big live well. This is a 66 gallon live well. That's water capacity. It's 84 gallons, uh, you know, to the top, but you can get 66 gallons of water in here. Uh, currently, I'm using it for storage. I can keep the grill, the cutting board, and some cooking utensils in it. Uh, as I said in previous videos, this, this live well will probably not be used that much, but since I was building a boat, I, uh, you know, I put it in. The one thing that I have found out is with spider rigging, I can use this live well as ballast. This gives me almost 600 pounds of weight in the front of this boat, and it can really, really keep the bounce down. Now, this boat's super heavy anyway, and I have absolutely no problem uh, you know, with bounce up until about foot to foot and a half chop. But after that, you can really weight the front of this boat down. Moving up here, we've got our two chairs up here. We set up, we were spider rigging yesterday, so we're still set up here. We've got our storage lockers there. I'll just kind of open one up here for you guys. So that one there, that's got my big anchor buoy, a couple of drift socks in it. And there's got some life jackets in it. We've got our live well there for the center. Two more storage areas here. I won't go bother opening them up, but you can see the room I've got in between the seats uh, right here. It's just awesome being up here to spider rig without having to sit so close to your neighbor. Coming up here, we've got some uh, Millennium single post uh, rod holders for spider rigging. These things are working out just great up front here this is a i made this custom mount for the front electronics we've got a helix 12 side scan mounted up here and then we've also got the uh, the garmin with the live scope that came out uh, mounted up here everything and that's on the altera trolling motor this is the altera got everything rigged up this is a neat motor here uh you can see this motor here it's it's the auto deploy really makes it nice in this boat because the front's so cluttered it's very hard to get to the motor to deploy it you can see there it goes in the water just a very very nice all these helixes are linked up with the with the trolling motor with the link system i can drive this trolling motor from about four different points in the boat just a very very nice comfortable to use boat got a ram mount up there to hold the trolling motor down uh accessory rail up here for all i give i got a 16 inch light bar in the storage compartment i can use for nighttime fishing got a big cleat up there uh for anchor fishing we can tie our anchor off to two more speakers up here you know just a very very well put together boat lots of thought went into this guys uh lots of thought and i think it turned out great um i'm very very happy with this boat i tried not to uh half-ass anything on this thing and i think i did it right um like i said i'm still kind of in the i've only fished out of this boat maybe six or seven times so far um so i'm still kind of in that learning stage kind of still tweaking things but so far it's it's very well set up i'm very happy uh you know with how i place things and everything else so finally here i don't want to make this video too awful long but uh i'm gonna flip the the canopy over many of you guys had concerns about the batteries and the fuel tank together you, you know uh it, that's how every boat is made you know 90 percent of the boats out there have the gas tank and or the fuel tank and batteries in the same compartment i've had no issues i've got uh charcoal canister filters all hooking up to the fuel so where uh, you know to keep the vapors down i did it right um you know i have no issue with it i very much like the position of it it gets some weight in the front of the boat uh you know having those three batteries and that 34 gallons of fuel up there uh this boat runs awesome so so far i've had this boat wide open throttle as of right now and i've still not got it tweaked as far as prop but she's running about 52 mile an hour so that's more than fast a good cruising speed in this boat is about 27 to 29 mile an hour that's a good fuel economy as well as a good cruising speed this boat planes out great you're two to three seconds and being on plane and you're going uh, a few other specs on this boat just in case you guys are wondering this boat is right at 25 foot long from edge of transom to tip of nose uh, you know it's sitting on the full aluminum trailer that you guys have that trailer is about 30 a little over 30 foot long uh, so big project big boat big trailer all said and done the boat 
being loaded down with gear, fuel, and sitting on the trailer. So I'm weighing the trailer too. Everything's weighing about 5,600 pounds. So if you take the estimated trailer weight, you're looking at somewhere around a 4,000 pound to 4,200 pound boat as it sits right now floating in the water. So it's a very heavy boat. And that's the reason this boat rides so good. This boat rides just like a big, big fiberglass boat. It handles the waves great. I've had this boat in about three to four footers. Uh, it's about as big as I can get out here on this lake that I'm at. And I, it's taken them straight in, crossways, and with the waves. Just perfect. The reverse chines on this boat throw the water out 10, 12 feet ahead of the back end of the boat. And you being in the back of the boat, being as this is a tiller, keeps you just perfectly dry. Um, I am... I can't say enough about how this boat rides. It, it rides great. This boat sits almost perfectly level. There's very little pitch to it as it sits in the water. And because of that, this boat drifts straight and it planes out very similar to like a mud, a mud boat where you've got a lot of the boat still in the water and that's what gives you that nice smooth ride. Um, I'll sacrifice speed over ride any day. But whenever I'm getting 52 mile an hour out of a 4,000 plus pound boat that's 25 foot long, I'm not complaining. This boat glides through the water. And because it's built on a 15 degree hull, it's very, very smooth. As far as draft, this boat's drafting right around 10 to 11 inches of water fully loaded. Um, with that jack plate being able to jack up that motor an extra six and a half inches, I can run in 18 inches of water with this 25 foot boat and i have it's um you know it's very <laughs> it's very user friendly in shallow water as well as deep water so guys i'm gonna keep this video short or short enough um any questions you have please in the comments below ask i will do update videos i know there's a ton of stuff that i'm missing um like i said i know from the previous video to this there's been a big jump but like I said, a lot of this was just tedious rigging and adding accessories, wiring. I think I've got somewhere around 600 feet of wire in this boat. I've used up 300 feet of wire loom uh, throughout this boat rigging it. So there's, you know, for a fairly simple boat, there's still a lot of wiring, you know, navigation lights. Uh, I've got wire. I can run the jack plate from the front of the boat and trim the motor up in the back, you know, just different things like that. We've got cigarette lighters to charge cell phones. I got three or four of them. Like I said, I guys, I know I'm missing a bunch. I can do a more in-depth further walkthrough over a specific section of this boat. If you guys want, please let me know. Anyway, guys, sun's going down. I'm kind of losing my light. I got out here after work and wanted to kind of make this video for you guys. It's the first decent day I've had in a long time. So with that being said, guys, I want to thank each and every one of you who have stayed through this video process. This was a long, drawn-out process. Um, just keep in mind that if you guys watched this whole series, you watched about two and a half hours worth of video uh that i put up on youtube and what i actually videoed was in the neighborhood of 13 to 14 hours worth of footage that ended up getting edited down into two and a half hours so you know i know there was a lot of complaints about you know stop explaining and just do stuff well it, it's it's difficult i found it very difficult to make these videos and i tried to do my best so for those of you that stuck it out i really appreciate it uh, like I said guys, this is this is my dream boat and you know I, I put a lot of time a lot of thought a lot of effort into it and I think it turned out great I will do another video once we get it line X'd and painted But uh, that's going to be you know a couple months away after I uh, You know after I fish out of the boat and do a final tweak. So anyway guys um, I, uh, I Appreciate each and every one of you that's viewed commented everything on this process um, I'm gonna to try to start making some fishing videos here. I've got this boat set up where I can, I think I can do some decent recording. Once I get some free time, we'll try to get some, uh, you know, some fishing videos out of this boat. Once again, guys, thanks so much for uh, all the support to the channel and all your uh, kind comments and views to this boat building process. Till the next video, talk to you guys later. All right. So very quickly here, I just wanted to share with you the fuel battery compartment. Uh, this is the step I've 
integrated in here. That's a 34 gallon fuel tank set back there. You can see I can access, um, you know, all my sending units, all my fill. That goes to the vent, to the charcoal filter. Uh, we've got all the wiring here. This, there's also the battery charger um, for the boat. All the, all the uh, wiring and stuff, as well as the three main trolling motor batteries sitting in there in a very nice, neat, compact setting. Very happy how that turned out. Uh, you know, I added that little secondary step deck by doing this, and I'm very happy I did. Worked out real nice.